Nigeria as an economic and cultural giant with a dynamic population plays a critical role in Africa. This awakened interest from the United States Bureau of Conflicts and Stabilization Operations to support its peace and prosperity. Essential to this is the stability of the resource-rich Niger Delta, an economic engine of the country but a region historically prone to violence, hence the conceptualization of Dawn in the Creeks, a Jetta Amatis think. This is simply a centerpiece showing the wider Niger Delta and its positive sides. This partnership, I hope, will provide a positive vision for Nigeria and for its young people. This project will bring together all the excitement, and the energy, and the glitz and the glamour of Nollywood to address some pretty serious problems, some serious issues, and I am really proud to be a part of that. Um, well, why are we involved? Uh, obviously, the United States has a lot of important uh, interests here in Nigeria. We have ties at many levels, on the business level, the cultural level, the educational level. And we are committed, absolutely committed, to strengthening the foundations of, of a peaceful, stable, and democratic society here in Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to me uh, to unveil to you the centerpiece of this engagement and to introduce Dawn in the Creeks, a Niger Delta legacy. The thing about Dawn in the Creeks is it's not just a reality TV show. It's, it's not. It, it goes far beyond that. It's not just a way of, um, of the people telling their stories. It goes beyond that. It goes beyond empowering the people. It identifies the fact that we as Nigerians created a business for ourselves, which is Nollywood, and we kept it going. We created it for us, by us, and it's the second largest in the world. No matter what anyone says, Nollywood is the second largest in the world. I always identify myself as Nollywood. I, I keep getting the question, are you Hollywood? Or No, I'm not. I am Nollywood. I'm a product of Nollywood. So what we're going to do is go select people. I will choose people from there who I will take to a school we're calling the Nollywood Academy, where we will teach them how to make films in Nollywood style. It sounds crazy, but I have just a couple of weeks to teach them how to make these films. The forum had the who is who in the Nigerian media well represented, and a very dicey question from dynamic TV personality Wolf Fai Summer was thrown at Jetta Amata. Now, Jetta, you've actually made Nollywood. You've been one of such persons who have contributed in making Nollywood the global export product it has become today. But if you look at the kind of movies you produce, like from time past, from the days of Amazing Grace to um, the November production you had, Black Gold, and so on and so forth, you've always been very concerned about issues that affect Nigeria. Now, for this reality show, why are you particular about the Niger Delta? Of course, the president is a Niger, Niger Delta, and there are a lot of issues that Niger Delta is saddled with, and then it more or less contributes to the negative image of Nigeria, no doubt. Why is everybody particular about Niger Delta, and why are you so particular? Delta. I am from the Niger Delta. I am a Niger, I be Niger Delta boy. I be, I, they born me for worry. You, you get it? So I, that, that's where I'm from. There's, there's oil in the Niger Delta. There's oil in my village. There's oil. And we know that the militants you talk about are there. They're, they're, they're militants or they're no longer militants, whatever it is. But there are interesting stories in the Niger Delta that we want to talk about, that we want to, to express. Yes, I'm from the Niger Delta. It's not because the president is from the Niger Delta. No, it's not. And like you said, I have always made films that have some social relevance issues, yes. And I am doing another one because I've had a good opportunity to impart what I know how to do to my fellow brothers in the Niger Delta. So the board, not the Americans now, have decided that we'll stick to the Niger Delta and we'll do this project in the Niger Delta. So it, it will be here, not for any other reason, but the reasons I've given. Not contented with answers from the continental filmmaker Jetta Amata, Wolf 5 Photo raised a bit of argument, and this time the mic was passed to the U.S. Consulate General. Hmm. I mean, there, there, there's lots of places in Nigeria that, that merit attention, um, lots of places in Nigeria that have important, powerful stories to tell also. Um, but I think from an American context, like I said, a lot of the 
big challenges that working, we're working with our Nigerian partners are. They come together in the Niger Delta. There's a lot of U.S. investment in the Niger Delta, so we've got a direct interest in that instability in and, and a positive future there. Um, and so it, it seemed like a logical place to start. Uh, you know, who knows? Thinking two or three years down the road, maybe this will be so wildly successful. Um, we'll be doing exactly the same thing in the Northeast or in the Middle Belt or somewhere else. Um, but for the time being, this seemed like a good place to start. But really, why the choice of Niger Delta? Just thinking aloud, though.